What's going on YouTube? This is Parker Light 88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be doing a character breakdown for Mastodon Sentry. But unlike my normal character breakdowns, we're just going to be going over changes here. So let's talk about Mastodon Sentry and what changed. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start moving into Mastodon Sentry's changes. Similar to my other What Changed videos, in the description box, I'll be leaving a link to my last character breakdown featuring Mastodon Sentry, which was one of his other What Changed videos, so you guys can check out those changes. And then when you're finished checking out that, you can come back here and check out these changes. But for those of you guys who choose to stick around, let's go ahead and start talking about Mastodon Sentry's changes for this patch. Now, the first thing that I do want to talk about is going to the way that his mine works, the uh, Ford Special. So similar to Daishi, you no longer have to wait for the mine to detonate on his own before you can actually send out another one. You can actually reposition these at will, and then it'll just detonate the, the one previously, as you guys can see. This is really nice for Mastodon Sentry's zoning game, because if you're in a situation where, let's say, you check one out there and you need to reposition it, you can just reposition it at the cost of ex exploding uh, the previous one that you chucked. So I think that's really good for Mastodon Sentry zoning. Moving into Mastodon Sentry's next change, let's go ahead and tackle his Standing Heavy. Now, Mastodon Sentry's Standing Heavy is an overhead. And the thing that is different about it now, because they're trying to normalize all the overheads to really make them kind of like a risk versus reward kind of situation, Mastodon Sentry's overhead is tied into his Heavy Auto Combo. And as you guys can see, on block, he can no longer cancel his, his Standing Heavy into the rest of his auto combo. So he basically no longer has a safe option from his overhead. Well, <laughs> so to speak, anyway. I guess you'd have to go straight into one of his specials. But you can't um, go ahead and go into the rest of his um, heavy auto combo. This takes away some of the hit confirmability, you know, time it takes you to like recognize what's going on. It's like you either have to commit to it or, you know, you just kind of back away from it. And that's pretty much that change. All right, let's go ahead and move into our next change. Let's talk about uh, Mastodon Sentry's dash jump. So the patch notes said that they actually slowed this down a bit. I don't remember what it was like before, but I, it definitely makes Mastodon Sentry, the way it is now, feel like he's more weighted and subsequently, I guess, a little bit slower. I don't know if it was more floaty or something like that. Without like the previous patch to like compare it to, I, I can't really show you guys. But as you guys can see, you know, with this change, he definitely feels like he uh, is slower because he has more weight to him. The next change that I want to talk about is the change to his Crouching Heavy. They sped up the, the, the shot of his Crouching Heavy, and my only guess as to why they did this was just to make that string more consistent across the board when you're actually trying to go for combos like in the mid-screen. I think there were some situations where I would go for like a jump in or something like that, and just because of hit stun decay, maybe because this projectile was too slow, sometimes it would connect and sometimes it wouldn't. Um, but they have normalized that now, so that whole string is more consistent, which is good for Mastodon Sentry's combos. All right, now let's talk about the biggest change for Mastodon Sentry, and that is to his new EX. So basically, from any of his gunshots, if you have a meter, you can go into his new uh, EX shot. This move does so many things for Mastodon Sentry. It makes his zoning better. It makes his combos better. Let's talk about how this affects his zoning. This makes his zoning a lot more unpredictable because now your opponent no longer has a guaranteed uh, punish, per se. If you have a meter, if you decide to do all three shots, for instance, because normally this is unsafe and your opponent has an opportunity to get in on you whenever you do that. But if you have the meter to spend, this is now a, uh, a safe option, which is uh, pretty crazy. This makes his uh, zoning even more unpredictable. And if your opponent is, you know, playing more defensive as a result of that, then you can actually be cheeky and then, you know, just do this. Your opponent's expecting the EX, but you just don't do it. But because of that EX, you know, you just have that option. It also improves his coverage. If you have the meter, you can do like up gun shots and just cover so much more of the screen. So it definitely helps out his zoning in that regard. And the biggest, biggest thing that I believe that does for Mastodon Sentry is up his ability to convert combos in the mid screen. In my experience, and I want to stress this, in my experience, I always felt that Mastodon Sentry's biggest weakness as a character was the fact that he did he had no reliable damage, solo damage at the very least, 
unless he was in the corner. I always felt that Mastodon Sentry shined in the corner because of, like, you know, his overhead game. But also, this is where he kind of gets his damage. This is, this is where he gets his damage. But now that we have the EX, if you have one meter... You, you get that. So Mastodon Sentry now has reliable damage that he can get in the corner and outside of the corner. I always felt that Mastodon Sentry was like borderline A plus tier character, at least by, by my standards, um, if anything else. But I definitely think that this would make him a solid A plus, uh, a plus character because not only does he have mix, not only does he have screen presence now, but he now can get consistent damage mid screen and in the corner. So that's really good for Mastodon Sentry. He's a very much more well-rounded character than he was before. And he was already a pretty well-rounded character to begin with. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move into combos now. And of course, the combo I'm going to show you guys is his new mid-screen combo that I was able to figure out using his new EX. So this combo is gonna start with a basic crouching string of your crouching light, crouching medium. You'll do your heavy auto combo from your crouching heavy, the first two hits. One gunshot, two gunshot, and then you'll do the new EX for the wall bounce into the hard knockdown state, as you see there. After you recover, you will then dash up and do standing heavy, because that is one of his off-the-ground hitting moves, into launcher. So you should have something that looks like this. Now, as you guys can see, the next thing you'll do after launcher is you'll do air light into air special into air heavy. Once you land back down on the ground, you will then do another launcher. The timing for this is a little, um, it's a little tough. Just play around and get used to the timing. I think it's like sooner rather than later to actually get that launcher to come out, but that's basically what you want. Now, after you do that part, you will then do uh, standing medium. First two hits of crouching heavy auto combo, just like that. One gunshot, two gunshot into the mine. You will then do another rep of crouching light, standing medium, crouching heavy auto combo, the first two hits, one gunshot, two gunshot, into mine. Then we will do the final rep of crouching light, standing medium, crouching heavy auto combo, the first two hits, and then you'll go into EX. So altogether, you should have something that kind of looks like this. And that's what you guys will get. So guys, that'll do it for this character breakdown. What changed video featuring Mastodon Sentry. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back at you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad, and I will see you guys next time.